Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we're going to be showing you how to roast vegetables. Cue the music. Thanks a lot for joining us here today. If this is your first time joining us, do me a favor, head down to the corner, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, well you clicked on this video to have me show you how to roast vegetables. So let's head in here and see what our vegetables are gonna be that we're gonna be roasting. All right, as you can see, I've got a green zucchini, I've got a yellow squash, one red pepper, one uh, orange pepper, I got a handful of white button mushrooms and then our aromatics. I've got uh, garlic, rosemary, we're going to add salt and pepper to that, and then about a quarter cup of oil, olive oil, that we're going to use to mix all the vegetables up together and then throw them on a sheet pan into the oven. One thing I did forget is an onion, so we will have that in our uh, prep when we're doing our prep. But add an onion to that. Everything will be in the description box below with all the measurements and the process. Thanks a lot. Let's head in the kitchen and start doing our prep. All right, we got our cutting board. I've got it stabilized on the counter. I have a large bowl that we're going to put everything into. I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting up our zucchini. Now you can cut this any way you want to. I'm gonna cut it into kind of semi-circles here because that's kind of what's, what I like to do. You can dice it up. Actually, you can dice all your vegetables up and then roast them and you can use them in a different uh, way you can put them in with some say tabbouleh or couscous and make a nice salad after they cool off you can uh, leave them bigger and then cook them in some fettuccine and some oil and have a nice uh, you know a meal out of it or you can cut like we're gonna do I'm gonna use this as a side dish so I'm just gonna go ahead and roast them up but I'm just gonna cut them in little semi-circles here starting off with the green zucchini into the bowl then I got our yellow squash, same thing. Notice I got the flat side down, so I've got a good stable cut. And you want to kind of cook the, or you want to cut these all about the same size, so when they roast, they actually uh, cook at the same time. One doesn't overcook, one doesn't undercook. So you're going to do the same thing with your vegetables when you cook them off here. Let's go ahead and go with our onion next. into the bowl. Got our red pepper. Just going to slice the julienne out of this as well. Then I'm going to take that julienne and I'm just going to cut it in half. Same with the orange pepper. Now I'm only using a half a pepper because I want to make sure I've got a good balance on these vegetables. I don't want one color to overpower the other colors in there. And it goes for the same as flavor too. And since we're cutting these in half, it's doubling what we have in the bowl. So I've got these other two off to the side. Let's do our mushrooms next. Now the mushrooms you can do just like this if you want to. Uh, just cut them in half. But I'm gonna go ahead and put them in quarters. Adds a little bulk and it also adds a little meatiness to this as well. You want to try to get a good balance of all your colors. We've got all our vegetables in here. Peppers, zucchini, onion, and mushroom. So now I'm just gonna hit our garlic. It's like to crush that a little bit. And then mince it up. Just like that. And we're just gonna put that right in there with the vegetables. And I got a rosemary. I love rosemary, especially in the wintertime or autumn uh, roasting vegetables. This goes very well with this blend. So I got a, out of my garden here, I got a ton of rosemary. I'm just gonna take that off the stem and we're gonna put it right into the bowl. And I got our oil right here. That's going right into the bowl as well. All right. I got the oil, I got the garlic, I got the rosemary, salt and pepper on those vegetables. Get the rest of that oil out of there just to make sure. You can do this with a spoon. I like to glove up and do it. Make sure your bowl's big enough for what you're gonna be doing, mixing them up. 
you don't want a small bowl then you got a handful of all these vegetables in there and you're gonna lose them all on the floor but you want to blend up everything really really well not only to get the seasonings in there but you want to coat everything with oil because that's going to help transfer heat when you're roasting it and also keep those flavors on the vegetable surface so get this all mixed up pretty good whoop where'd my pan go all right we got our pan right here nice sheet pan and you want to just put them on here you want them one single layer you don't want to just put about three inches of vegetables on here because it's going to really make it harder to cook that fits out pretty good get everything out of the bowl single layer i got my oven already turned on you want to go 400 425 depending on your oven um, and then halfway through the cooking process, we're going to go about 12-15 minutes, but halfway through the cooking process, I want to pull this out of the oven and then kind of stir this up a little bit because the outer edges are going to be the what cooks first. When they start turning color, you want to just mix those in to get a nice firm texture. So let's get these in the oven. 425 degrees is what I have my oven set on, and I'm going to go seven minutes to start out. All right, I've had these in for seven minutes. I'm just gonna take a spat. They're already kind of soft already. And they're changing a little bit of color. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but yeah, the aroma is fantastic coming off of these. So mix all this up so the outside gets into the middle, gets to the outside. And I'll put these back in the oven for about another three to four minutes. All right, there we go, they are done. This smells fantastic. You can see a little bit of the color change on the outside, they're soft. They've got wonderful, wonderful aroma coming off this, the garlic, the rosemary. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and put it into a dish. We're gonna make it presentable. Then we are going to take some awesome photos of that dish for some social media. We're gonna take those pictures and throw them in the timeline with some groovy music, and then we're gonna give this a taste. So stick around, enjoy the pictures, and enjoy the music. another shot of our vegetables right there they smell fantastic got the zucchini got the yellow squash orange and red pepper um, onion mushroom then that olive oil salt and pepper garlic fresh garlic and fresh rosemary right out of my garden um, cool off a little bit here go with the yellow zucchini onion and a little bit of that rosemary Cook perfectly, not mushy, but they're still soft. Getting hit with that rosemary and that garlic right off the bat. Some mushroom. Mm. And we'll go with a zucchini and a red pepper. Yeah, like we well, like we talked about earlier in the video. Uh, the smaller the cut, the quicker the cooking time, um, but make sure you cook everything uniform so it cooks at the same time. Uh, you can make this with a pasta and have it as a main course. You can have it diced up smaller, throw a little tinier noodle in there and uh, use it as a salad or some couscous or some quinoa. You can make a nice roasted vegetable salad or do like we did, have it as a side dish with a meal. 
Hey, I appreciate you watching today. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to check out the description box on your way out. Not only does it contain the recipe for this show, but it also has a bunch of groovy links. I have a gourmet seasoning shop on Etsy and also have a cookbook on sale. Those links are down there. Don't forget to check out the playlist I've got down there for how to create a cooking show on YouTube and also a playlist link for how to improve your channel and help it grow. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already, and then make sure you share this video with everyone, everyone that you know. Take care of yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.